गाइस माय नेम इज अंकुश कौरव एंड आई वेलकम यू टू कॉन टू सीरीज इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू सेट अप द डेवलपमेंट एनवायरनमेंट टू क्रिएट आवर फर्स्ट सर्वलेट एप्लीकेशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट गाइस टू डू सो ऑल आई नीड टू डू इज टू इंस्टॉल दीज थ्री टूल्स और सॉफ्टवेयर इन माई कंप्यूटर सो फर्स्ट वन इज छे के you got to install jdk in your computer i have installed jdk 1.8 which happens to be the latest version currently well at the time when you are going to watch this video whichever is the latest one i suggest you to go and uh, you know download install the same now second one is eclipse ide guys i'm going to make use of eclipse integrated development environment in this uh, servlets jsp's series of tutorials while showing you all demos and if you also are going to use eclipse ide you know while practicing along with me then you got to follow these simple steps to download and install in your computer you first got to go to the eclipse website and then look for java ee developers eclipse ide zip once you find it you just got to download it in your computer once it is downloaded fully you need to extract it in any of your computers drive and that's all about it guys this is going to complete the installation process for eclipse ide well to install eclipse ide i also followed these steps what i've just showed you so what i did i downloaded eclipse ide for java ee developers zip in my computer currently neon is the latest version of eclipse so i have downloaded the same well at the time when you are watching whichever is the latest one just uh, you know look for the latest version so after after downloading this zip i extracted it in my e drive and that finished the installation for eclipse id in my computer now third one is tomcat apache server guys let's restrict ourselves in this tutorial by only talking about how to download and install it and in the next tutorial immediate next tutorial i'm going to talk about what exactly it's all about and why we need it to develop a servlet application so question is how to install it well these are the simple steps you got to follow to install it you need to go to tomcat apache website and look for the latest and stable version of tomcat apache server available at the time when i'm recording this video 8.5 is the latest version so you got to download binary zip for the same in your computer and once uh, it's fully downloaded you just need to extract it to any of your computer's drive and that's going to complete the installation process for apache tomcat server so in my computer i also followed these steps only to install it i went to tomcat apache server i downloaded apache tomcat 8.5 uh, binary zip in my computer and then i extracted it in the e drive and that finished the installation for tomcat apache server in my computer so if you look at the installation process for eclipse and uh, apache tomcat it's kind of very easy guys you just need to download the zip and uh, you know to install it you just need to extract it to any of your computer's drive now what's next guys we got to open up eclipse id to configure it you know to start uh, developing our first servlet application so to do so i'll go to eclipse folder and then i double click on this uh, icon so this is going to open up eclipse id for me here it's asking me where i want to create uh, the servlet application so i'm going to keep this uh, default location and i'm going to press on okay cool so it has opened up eclipse ide now to start configuring this ide 
you know to develop our first sublet application i only need to go to project explorer right click here choose new and then choose dynamic web project option guys if by any chance you do not find this option here in this list then in that case you just need to go to this last option other and then type here dynamic web project and it's going to show you down there dynamic web project option choose it and click on next and here provide the name of the project you know whatever name you want to give to the project that you want to create just provide it here i want to give a name to my project as my servlet app and uh, let's uh, ignore all these you know other things what it's showing because anyways i'm going to discuss uh, all these in the subsequent tutorial while developing this application so click on next let's go with the default what it's showing us here again let's go with the default and click on finish so here all we did was uh, you know we provided name of the project and then we just clicked on next next and finally finish button and we didn't do anything other than providing project name now this has created this directory structure for us over here we are going to make use of this directory structure to create our first servlet application but before we do so only step which is pending here as far as its configuration is uh, considered is integrating apache tomcat server with this project so how to do so we are going to talk about in the next tutorial because in the next tutorial first i'm going to talk about what exactly is tomcat apache server why we need it for uh, servlet application development purposes and then i would talk about how to integrate it with this uh, project structure you know what we have just created inside eclipse ide all right guys a big thank you for learning servlet application development with me if you have any feedback or any constructive comment please put them down the video or simply write to me on this email id for all of your queries please hit the like button if uh, this video has proved useful to you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel gone to series and i'm going to catch you in the next part of this tutorial